going the wrong way, buddy. What are you doing? Wrong side. <laughs> what? <laughs> we had a bit of a situation with Jess. So Thank you. Your style and pants. Samantha Joe right now. Samantha Joe. I love her. She's fun. She has the best vlogmas, I swear. Real fun. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's uh, Wednesday and no lambs this morning. So I just spent the, the morning editing and hanging out with Jess. Just to change the pace for you guys, first thing is uh, we're going to weigh our market lambs across the road. It's been a couple weeks. I don't think Carissa got around to weighing them last week because we were just so busy with lambs. Oh, lights not working? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know why, but the water works and everything like that's still on. Weird. Technical issue, our power to this barn wasn't on this morning. Was it on yesterday? Uh, I don't turn the lights on. So you don't turn it on, so you wouldn't know. Uh, but the power to our mixer was on, and the power to the mixer, we have a breaker box over in the uh, hay storage, but I guess there was a breaker to that panel also. All right, so we are going to weigh these guys they were last week two weeks ago Chris has said majority of them were only in that 70 to 80 pound range uh, as the biggest ones so we will uh, scan any of them that are over 105 pounds they'll get diverted to the left here in this first pen but the rest there probably won't be any if many or any maybe and the rest will just go back into their uh, pen where they came from that's it there you go All right, kids. Turn your heads. We ended up having two, but I'm gonna let them back in with their friends because it's not worth hooking up a trailer for two, and they will wait for another couple weeks, and we'll weigh them again. Want back with your friends? I had a little bit of a nap here at lunchtime and I uh, woke up to an email from Baton's and my wool is washed. So I hooked up to the trailer, I checked my barn, no lambs. And of course, every time I jump in the truck, there's no fuel. <laughs> Can't even blame the kids. I know who I could blame, but he's power washing, so his job's much harder than mine today. We have our wool. He like, he overwhelms me because he's very knowledgeable and uh, I don't know what he's talking about. So I'm like, he'll say a whole bunch of stuff in terminology. I'm like, okay, what's that mean? I'm uh, the one thing about me is I, I don't care if people think I'm dumb. <laughs> so I will ask a million questions and it doesn't bother me. So all that wool, I had six, if you remember, I had six big bags, a part bag, and then some black wool 
they didn't finish the black because there was only like 14 pounds. There wasn't enough to do a big run on. So I told him just put it in a bag and I'll get Mariposa to go through it. Um, but anyway, I will show you what it looks like when we get home. Here they are. It's all washed. The black, they didn't, the black they want, they haven't picked it yet, he said. So they're going to have to do that still. But I figured for how much that is, it's not like this. Crazy, eh? Hey, can you handle those? I'm gonna I think so. Washing. I can try. I can try. Oh. Heavier than it looks. <laughs> okay, I needed a snack and I needed to check in on my daughter. I do that all the time now. I have become that overbearing parent. <laughs> okay, these ladies and their babies have been in here long enough. The only one I'm a bit concerned on is my little pinched nerve lamb. I might leave them in a pen for another couple days, but we'll see. But all the rest can va moose and we'll make a big pen. why I marked that lamb. It is hers, I think. It's the one that ran away that Carissa found. So, Chris is still feeding it a bottle. That's why it's got the red paint dot. So we may watch it, we may just pull it and train it on the machine yet. Because she's going to steal. This poor you has a sore foot. I've been treating her, but she's going to be very vulnerable to a stealer, and then her lambs are going to suffer. <laughs> Yes, those are the lambs. Good girl. That's a girl. The only one left here is my little surprisey. I have to get you up every feeding. There's something going on with this lamb. I don't know what. But it's not probably good. So again, these guys are going to be in their own pen for a couple more days until everybody's equated. Uh, and then I'll give them a bigger pen and put that put both of these pens together as one. I just wanted them to stay in smaller groups until I was comfortable with uh, how everybody was bonding. We can keep an eye better as to lambs on their mums. That's why they're numbered, so they match their mums. If they wander off, uh, we know who it belongs to and take it back to her. Such a baby. You're just so protective. Yeah, you are. So protective, aren't you? Yeah, it's my baby.
morning. You'd swear it was a Monday, but it is not. It is, it is Friday. Uh, I did not vlog yesterday. We had a bit of a situation with Jess. Uh, thankfully, it turned out to be nothing, but uh, it included an ER, another hospital for another CT scan, and then back to ER, and it ended up being just uh, a false alarm, thankfully. They were concerned it was a blood clot in the lung, and uh, it wasn't. But, poor mama's heart and uh, chest is tight this morning. We are out of corn from our poor little lambs across the road. Uh, that's the one good thing about those feeders is there's always, there's always a reservoir, so when you run out, you've got a couple days to get it filled back up again. Look at you standing. Why do you look so good? <laughs> All right, ladies. Another day off. Hello, you. What are you saying, Red? Uh oh, limping. Ah. As soon as we see limping like that on a lamb, especially in the joint, uh, the joint gets kind of swollen, we treat it right away because it's typically joint ill. And this is about prime time for it. A few days old, um, it travels up that navel. We are treating the navel and everyone's gonna say, yeah, but you're, you do it too quick and then you licks it off. And I asked my vet that and he said, no, nope, this iodine's a bit different than just plain iodine. He said it acts, I think there's an alcohol in it. So it acts immediately, so you don't have to worry about the you licking it off. Not that, she, I don't think they really love the taste of it anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna treat it. We were able to, uh, we had even a few escapes last time, dipping navels, and uh, we treated them right away. We write it down on our whiteboard. <laughs> I put these two pens, I just put them all as one big pen because there's not very many bottle babies. They've got two nipples. I did, I did raise them because every day Chris is bedding these so they're nice and dry. But what that does is it does raise the litter. The lambs are getting bigger every day, which just means these need to be raised a little bit more every so many days. So I think we're good. Are you happy? So orange are quads, purple is triplets. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Event time. We're three days 14. behind. Did we do 13, 14 in the last video? I think. Yeah, 14 done. So you have to do 15, 16, 16 17. <laughs> oh no. We're terrible. What if we do 15, 16, and then 17, 18 tomorrow? If I remember to do it. Sir, if I don't get a mint one one of these days. I don't think there's mint, Jess. Have you sir, checked the back? Yeah. It doesn't say mint anywhere. Yes, it does. Mm. But you got green. I read mini as mint. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, goodness, I'm so bad at finding them, Tixine. So everyone wants to know how you're feeling. 
I'm feeling pretty good. I told everybody that we had a rough day yesterday, but yesterday we got was, well. But we got checked in. I didn't even feel that bad. I just we well, want to be better safe than sorry. Right, safe, better safe so. than a sad story, as your dad would say. That's 16, 15, 16, We'll do something tomorrow. Okay. It's a lot of chocolate for a young recovery <laughs> baddie. <laughs> Mm, so good. You want it in? Showed everybody your pants, your styling pants. Are you gonna have the next one or wait later? You can have it. Okay. I ate the good one. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty sure I have missed the comments on the last few videos. Uh, I just wanted to get kind of all caught up in this one because it's really hard editing because I've got footage on different memory cards on different days. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the top couple comments off the last three videos. Yeah, this is the one with the surprise lambs. So it was a few days ago. Um, the number one comment here, 864 uh, likes on this one is from Jackie Ost. The red baby is gorgeous. I'm so happy to see Jess. Hope she feels better soon. Thanks for these wonderful videos, Sandy. You make my day. Thank you, Jackie. And yes, it's nice to see Jess happy. Yesterday was a rough day. So we're going to have some good days and we're probably going to have some rough days just as her uh, recovery journey uh, keeps going. Uh, yesterday we spent the day in uh, the ER and then from the ER we went to another hospital for a scan. Mm -hmm. End up being a false alarm, she's fine, but just really sore still. So the healing will continue, and the thing with Jess is you just, you don't know, because she doesn't really let on. Yesterday I knew, because she was pale, and she was quiet. And when Jess is, she's a little like me, if she's quiet, she's upset about something. So thank you for that, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of the next comments in the next few videos are going to be probably mostly about Jess. So I'll do my best to um, answer what I can. I know a few people just want to know exactly what Jess had. Just know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to share details on that because it's not my body. It's my daughter's body. She is an adult and uh, she has her own YouTube channel. So uh, she was saying the other day, she goes, maybe when she's all healed, um, because, it, because what she had is very common. She's like, she goes, I'm very, she's very comfortable sharing it. But I said, I'm not comfortable sharing your story. So she's, uh, she's contemplating whether she does her own video when she feels better. So, uh, give her time. I just ask you guys to just respect like those boundaries just because it's my child. So this YouTube channel is not her. I'm just giving you my perspective on what I've kind of gone through. So I appreciate that you want to know, just know that she was really sick. It was very serious. We're still not 100% uh, out of the woods. We, we're waiting on one more test and then hopefully we can just put this whole nightmare behind us. Let's go to the next video, uh, which is the one on Jess. So this one, um, this one could be tough. Yeah, there's 2,600 comments. So I'll read, this one's from Sandra Messenger. S Sandy, sorry to hear your baby Jess is going through this. I can tell you as a parent and now a, and now a grandparent that no matter how old they are, they're always your baby. Sending prayers for the family and tell Jess she's a strong woman and she's going to pull through just fine. Call the counseling at university and get her exams deferred till January. I had to do it with my daughter at Waterloo. They'll just ask you something from the hospital. Take care. And that's Sandy from Kitchener. So thank you, Sandy. Uh, yep, we were able to get a hold of the university. Um, I emailed a few contacts and there was a form she had to fill out and then have her like doctor's notes and everything so fingers crossed we hear back soon that she can get that deferred I think it has to go through a whole like committee and then everyone has been so um amazing in the comments I I spent probably an hour going through these comments yesterday I went through this morning at breakfast and went through a few with Jess and Mark and we're all really just blown away with your stories I guess my whole point of that video was um if you're a parent and you've had a sick kid it's I don't think there's anything worse so uh thank you for this okay so then yesterday's was all about big mama it's looking like the number 
one with the most likes is is Mimi Davis. Uh, so glad to see Jess up and looking brighter. She's been through a lot and and you have been through way too much, Sandy. I don't know how you do it. You're such an amazing woman and such a great role model. Big Mama is one of my favorite yous. Same. I so love that side look. Like she's so like she's a gla glamorous movie star playing for the camera. Wishing the Brocks a very Merry Christmas. I'm so glad I found this channel. It's gotten me through some rough times and has inspired me more than anyone could ever know. Thank you, Sandy, for being such a wonderful... You and you are amazing. Oh, and it was good to see Mr. Billy, handsome as ever. Yeah, I had to throw Billy in there. Thank you for that, Mimi. And yeah, we've been through a lot. Thing is, when it happens to one of us, it happens to all of us because we're tight, we're close. So when one person feels pain, we all feel it. And I'm sure lots of people can relate to that. So it's been a really tough couple of weeks. I was very aware of the fact that yesterday was actually our planned appointment with the uh, specialist that she was supposed to see. This was to plan the surgery. So that poor girl, uh, if all was supposed to go according to the setup plan, she wouldn't have even seen her surgeon till today. Who knows when she would have got in. We're having like COVID outbreaks, I guess, all over the place. So who knows? how full the hospitals are gonna get. So I'm just so incredibly grateful that, I'm not grateful that she was in that much pain, but I feel like if she didn't have to go through all that, none of this would have happened as timely as it did. And I think it all, I think everything worked out the way it was supposed to. Um, and I'm just, I'm so eternally grateful to nurses and doctors and and just, and Jess. I think I got my comments all caught up to date, so this is gonna make editing so much nicer to edit on the actual day that I'm filming. So this weekend, I'm probably not going to upload this until Monday, so you'll see this Monday. So again, you're, I'm gonna be behind. Um, but I don't think we're gonna have any lambs till Monday or Tuesday next week, so I think this will work out pretty good. Um, you'll just get the tail end of this week uh, and then next week, hopefully, we'll have lambs right up till Christmas. And then, uh, and then I might take some time off after Christmas, so, and just hang out with my family. I'm excited for Christmas, but I do have to do some Christmas shopping, so that's probably what's gonna happen while I have this little reprieve. You guys have a great weekend. I guess you're not gonna see this till Monday. Have a great Monday night. <laughs>